Welcome to How to Lift Properly to Reduce Back Injuries. 80% of the total U.S. population has back pain at some time in their life. Take a guess. Which occupation do you think suffers from the highest incidence of back injuries? Construction worker? Warehouse personnel? Delivery goods drivers? Healthcare workers? Or farm workers? The answer is, you guessed it, healthcare workers. Here's some statistics from the Bureau of Labor. Healthcare workers have the highest number of work-related injuries. Nurses, nurses, aides, orderlies, and attendants suffer the highest number of musculoskeletal disorders. The average missing six days of work because of work-related musculoskeletal disorders, totaling over 32,000 days per year. 12% leave the profession because of back injuries and over half complain of back pain. So you're probably wondering, why the back pain? Among many things, healthcare workers routinely lift patients, bend to bathe patients, get patients in and out of wheelchairs, and have to lift patients when they fall. To avoid injury when lifting, simply remember the acronym BACK. Back straight, avoid twisting, close to your body, keep smooth. As you stand, keep your upper body straight. This will give you better balance and keep you from falling or dropping the person you are lifting and will help protect your back. Stand facing the person and let them know what you're doing. Put your feet about a foot apart with one foot a little ahead of the other for support. Bend your knees, putting more of your weight on your front foot. Tighten your stomach muscles. Grasp the person, wrapping your arms around his or her body under their arms. Keep him or her close to your body near your center of gravity. Stand up by straightening your knees, using your muscles in your legs and hips. When turning, move your feet. Do not twist your back. Lower the person by bending your knees and keeping your upper body straight. If the person slips, lower them gently to the floor while tightening your stomach muscles and avoid rotation. Lift in stages if you need to. Avoid reaching over your head to lift. Follow the recommended lifting guidelines which state the most a person can lift with a minimal risk of injury under ideal conditions is 51 pounds. If you do injure your back, immediately sit or lay down and apply ice to the painful area for 20 minutes every hour as often as possible for the next 24 to 48 hours. If you still experience pain, see your family chiropractor, remain active, Avoid prolonged inactivity or bed rest following the first 24 to 48 hours after the injury. Here are four tips to minimize your risk for developing lower back pain. Warm up and stretch before working, exercising, or any other physical activities. Maintain proper posture not only when lifting, but also when sitting and standing. Sleep on a mattress of medium firmness to minimize any curving of your spine. Quit smoking. Maintain a healthy diet and weight. Remember your back. Back straight. Avoid twisting. Close to your body keep smooth. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation and it served this purpose to inform you on how to lift properly to reduce back injuries. As always, I welcome any of your thoughts and would be glad to answer any questions you may have. So if you'd like to, just leave a comment in the comment section at the end of this post or contact me through this site's contact page. And thank you for watching.